Today we are going back inside the fitting room. I think it's been like at least six months since I did any sort of inside the fitting room video. And I mean, it's mostly because my social anxiety wins every time, but also just because the uh, sizing availability in stores these days <laughs> is dwindling. And it's like actually kind of scary at this point. A lot of stores are like getting rid of extended sizes, cutting their plus size lines, dwindling down on their offerings, not carrying any kind of anything over like a large in store but usually my old faithful my tried and true is old navy so i figured we would go inside of old navy today and see what they've got see what's new old navy honestly please sponsor me at this point <laughs> i just feel like they are the like ultimate affordable accessible and size inclusive retailer most of their items in their entire inventory is available from like extra small to like i believe 4x it is sort of like touch and go when it comes to sizing available in store but I thought that I would just see what's out there we would do a little experiment together maybe they have cute stuff for spring who knows I mean it's beginning of March basically so we're gonna head in and check it out we're gonna see what they have I have no idea what to expect I haven't been inside of an Old Navy in probably like a year I want to say so I'm gonna sit here and work up my courage for the next five minutes and then we are gonna head inside and go check out Old Navy so let's do it Okay, first of all, I have to say that I think this is my first time filming a fitting room video at this mall in LA. And if you are ever in LA, come to Century City Mall. It is like the best outdoor mall ever. It's so cute. But going into the Old Navy, it was super nice. It seemed like they had a lot of spring stuff out. A few things that immediately caught my eye were these little halter kind of tank tops that had shelf bras in them, which is ideal. I saw this rack of t-shirt dresses, which if you watch my last video, then you will know that I have been obsessed and want to bring back t-shirt dresses. So. I grabbed one of those. I also was impressed with the sizing availability for the jeans in store. If you can see down here at the bottom, most of the jeans went up to a size 22 to 24 in store. So I found this little area that had the OG loose jeans and shorts and I thought they were really cute. So I grabbed a pair. I loved this pink cardigan. I think Old Navy is amazing for basics and they had some really cute spring printed dresses and they even had their own version of like a unique low crossbody bag, those viral bags that are so, so cute. They had tons of colors. They also had really cute loafers and flats as well as swimsuits, activewear, just so much good stuff to choose from. So I grabbed what I could and we headed into the fitting room. The lighting was not ideal in this fitting room, so apologies in advance, but I gathered all of my stuff and the first thing I tried on was this pink t-shirt dress. I thought this might be cute. We're gonna um, do a little experiment, but this is in a size extra large. It's originally $19.99. As of the day I'm filming this or editing this video, it's on sale for $12, so just wanted to mention that, but okay, yeah, I was disappointed. I think for starters, as a tall girl, it was long enough for me. However, it was a really like kind of see-through material, not what I was expecting. So I feel like you can just see all the different lines and curves of my body, which is not exactly what I would want. So I think if I were to go back, I would maybe grab like the striped one or something with a pattern on it. Here it is at a different angle. I feel like it's okay. I was trying to picture like, okay, how would I style this? Would I wear it with like a flannel, some converse, you know, things like that would be cute, but it just wasn't fitting right the way I would want for it to be, especially in the waist area. I just didn't enjoy that at all. And I don't know if I needed to like just pick a different pattern. I liked that it covered my butt. That was me showing that. It was a good length if you were a tall girly like me. I think if I were to go back though, I would size down a size and I would pick the one with like the stripe pattern. So this was a no for me, unfortunately. Moving on. Next up, I had to choose one of these halter tops that had the built-in bra because those are some of my favorite things at Old Navy. This is originally $16.99, again, currently on sale. And then I thought I grabbed an OG loose pair of jeans because it was in that pile, but it turns out it was actually an OG straight pair of jeans. I got it in a size 16. It's my usual size. It is high rise and putting these on, I had to include this little shot because I was genuinely so perplexed. I was like, what is going on? I hate these. Are these skinny jeans? This is me checking the tag being like, did I get the right did I get the right pair? So yeah, I was just perplexed because I was trying on loose jeans. We'll get into the jeans in a minute, but starting off with the top, the top is absolutely perfect. I think Old Navy does basics so, so well. There are so many good sales. They're very affordable. I love the cut of this top. Like how cute is this? I love my little tattoo with it. This is a new tattoo, by the way. I feel like it crops at the perfect length. However, moving on to the jeans, they are just not what I expected at all. First of all, what kind of high rise is that? To me, that's a mid rise. And I'm, I was just so surprised. I was like, these are basically a skinny jean. Sometimes 
sometimes I do get a little bit confused because different brands from brand to brand, it's different for what like a straight leg jean would be. But these to me were just kind of like a mom jean, I guess you could say, or like, I don't know, they were just tight around my calves. That's what my butt looks like. Didn't look bad, you know, I'm not mad at it. But I guess I was just surprised because a lot of Old Navy jeans fit me like a glove. And like when Old Navy says something is high rise, it's usually pretty high rise. So I think the super high rise is the one that I usually go for. So I was just left feeling a little bit confused, but the top definitely, yes, absolutely loved it. The pants just weren't for me. They weren't bad, but they just weren't for me. Next up, I decided to create a little outfit for all of my business cash girlies, for all of my working in the office girlies who always ask me for work appropriate things. I don't know if shorts are, but we're gonna go for it. Um, I have a white tee, a blazer, and a matching pair of trouser shorts. And I thought this might be cute together. We had just a basic white tee. We have this nice blazer that is, you know, a decent price, I would say, for a blazer that's brand new. I mean, you can usually thrift one for a better price than that. And then we have these shorts that are kind of like a trouser short. I got them in a size extra large. They have a five inch inseam, so they're good for us, you know, thick thighed girlies, hopefully chafe proof. And I put on just the t-shirt and the shorts together at first. And I was like, okay, these are cute. However, I'm kind of in between sizing at Old Navy. And I do think Old Navy runs a little bit big. So their size extra large is typically like a 16, 18, and I'm more of a 14, 16, but they're really, really cute. Like this is a good length. I don't feel like I would chafe in these. It does look adorable. I think I would just need to size down in them. And I just think they're like so cute for like business casual, like I mentioned. They're not 100% my style, but I do think they're adorable. And they're just like a shorts version of my favorite trousers from Old Navy. So then I decided to throw the blazer on top and I don't know what it is. I just don't think I'm a blazer girly. I just immediately look like a realtor. I was sitting there like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this, but it's not a bad outfit. Obviously I would need the right shoes. Like maybe some loafers would be adorable with this or even like some boots that go up to my knees might be cute. I don't know how I feel exactly about styling it this way. If I were to style it more in my style, I would probably do like a graphic tee underneath and like some denim shorts and like cowboy boots or something. But regardless, this is what I paired together and I don't think it's bad. I just don't know how I feel about it for me specifically, but the fit was really great. This blazer, so cute, nice and oversized, kind of like a boyfriend style blazer, you could say. And all of these pieces would be great for like an office or an event or something like that, where you have like high quality and really affordable pricing. Next up for a little splash of something springy, we have this blue t-shirt that wasn't available, unfortunately, in a size large. I would have sized down, but I got an extra large. It was $14.99. Again, super on sale at the moment. And I decided to pair it with this cute skirt that reminded me a lot of a skirt that I would wear in like 2018. And it's this really pretty floral print, kind of like a midi skirt, but also depending on your height could be a maxi skirt. And I just love this floral print. This just feels like so 2018 me. So I decided to pair these two together. Thought they'd be really cute with like white sneakers or even like combat boots or something, denim jacket, very 90s. For the shirt, I decided to tuck it like, like do a reverse tuck kind of up into my bra. And I thought it was really cute that way because the top was just like a little bit big. I would have preferred it a little bit more cropped and then the skirt is adorable it's such a nice pattern and print and like the color is kind of neutral it is blue but it can go with like almost anything i love the slits on the sides here it is from a different angle i will say the skirt just was a little bit big on me because again i'm sort of in between sizes at old navy so i would probably size down to a large however the material did feel not as great quality. And I do think that if I were to wash it and dry it or just wash it in general, it would like shrink up a lot, you know, that type of material. But here it is from like the back angle as well. And it's really, really cute. I think styled with the right things, it would be adorable for spring. I was kind of feeling like, okay, should I get this? Should I try to find a different size in it? I'm not sure. I decided to pass on it ultimately, but I just thought that like this pairing together wasn't my favorite, but both of those paired with other things in my closet, I would love. Super, super cute. Just didn't really need anything like that in my wardrobe, but Next, we found this cobalt blue dress, which is very on trend at the moment. This color is very, very popular. It retails for $39.99, which I don't think is a terrible price for a dress. But then I saw today that it's half off, it's $20. So I may have to go back and get it, we'll see. But um, I put this on and immediately I was stunned. I was like, this is such a cute dress, it's so comfortable. And I immediately always go in my mind to like, where, where could the cons be? What would people find to be a problem with this? The first thing I thought of was that I would probably show a little bit of sweat in this in the summer. I am a sweaty gal. Every time I'm just like talking enthusiastically, I'm sweating. Like I just sweat, that's what I do. So at first I was like, okay, it's so flowy. It's so cute. It has pockets I discovered, which like, hello, that's the best thing ever. But then I don't know what happened out of nowhere. All of a sudden I was like, 
I feel like I look like I'm wearing a bridesmaid dress and that's all I could think about. Like all I could think about was that it looked like I was a bridesmaid and that I was about to go walk down the aisle with a bouquet of flowers. So then I, I didn't like it anymore. So I don't but know. Now that I'm looking at this footage, I'm like, I definitely need to order this. I could wear it with like my white sambas, a cute little denim jacket or something, style it up in the right way. So we'll see, but it is really, really cute. For the next outfit, I did something that could kind of be like business casual as well, or just like, you know, a nice chill sort of spring transitional outfit. Um, I found this little mock neck tank in a size extra large, originally $19.99. And then I found this really cute satin midi skirt. I've actually had one of these on my thrift wish list for a while. I haven't been able to find the perfect one, um, but this one is originally $39.99. It currently is not on sale, but you can use a coupon code at the day of editing this. So I will leave that linked in the description box below in case you wanna check it out. But here it is put together. I don't think this is particularly my style, but I do think it's really pretty. I love Love the flowiness of the skirt, but I will say the top, it's just like a, an issue that I always run into with tops like that. The armpits like never cover, I don't know, it's like the, the hole is too big and my boobs hang out <laughs> from the side or you can see my bra. So that's just like not my favorite look of all time, but I love the material of this. It's so perfect, so versatile as well. You could style this skirt with so many different things. You could dress it up, you could dress it down, you could wear it to like a fancy dinner, you could wear it with a graphic tee in Doc Martens, like how adorable. And I've really been enjoying seeing more midi length styles coming back. And I like this. I actually like this, even though this isn't a hundred percent my style, I really do like it. Again, running into an issue with the size extra large skirt. So I would just size down to a large, no problem. And the same with the tank for sure. So keep that in mind for Old Navy. If you are in between sizes, I would go with the smaller size of the two, but really cute look. And last but not least, we have this gorgeous pink cardigan. Like I said, Old Navy just does basics so well. Like mwah. their cardigans are so nice. They're great quality and for $36.99, pretty great. Then to go with it, I found another pair of what I thought were loose jeans. It's okay, they're not. These are the high rise straight. In, in retrospect, I should go back and maybe I'll film another, maybe like at home try on video where I try the OG loose because that sounds a lot better. But these were a straight jean and these were basically, <laughs> You can tell by my face. I was just not impressed. I was like, what is this? This was not what I was expecting. If you like this style of jeans, more power to you. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just felt like the way that they fit on me was not doing me any favors, but that could just be like my own thing in my head, you know? But I loved this cardigan. This cardigan was absolutely beautiful. I love the color of pink. I just don't think I would get enough wear out of it. I have quite a bit of cardigans in my closet at the moment. I also would worry about sweat with this. Just wanted to mention that for my fellow sweaty gals. And it was cute. It, like, I really liked it unbuttoned and it's versatile. You can wear it like completely unbuttoned, partially unbuttoned. Like I have it completely buttoned up, tucked, you know, all sorts of different things. Now these jeans, I was so confused by because it was almost like they were too small, which is weird because Old Navy usually runs big on me. So you saw like what an extra large looked like. And now this is a size 16. And I was just like, what is happening? They just were not exactly what I thought. And I'm so confused as to what is straight about these because to me, these are a skinny jean and these aren't high rise. So I'm like, what is happening? Like, I like the price. I like that they're on sale. But as you can see here, I was like, I'm so surprised because Old Navy usually just knocks it out of the park. They have so many good jeans. I think I just truly picked the worst two pairs. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below on these jeans and just everything in general. I ended up getting two different things. We will show you. I got my little items and I headed back to the car. All right, made it back to the car. We can do a little debrief now. I honestly think that that was one of the best fitting room experiences I've had in a while in that it was just so chill. Nobody was like knocking on the door every two seconds asking me if I needed something or paying too much attention, which like I honestly prefer. Um, it was really, really great. And so that was like a huge aspect of it. And then also every single thing that I was looking at was available in my size, like in store, which is so, so so rare. I mean, I'm used to being the biggest size in most stores if I can fit into that size. And not only that, but like it's never available. It's like an XL is always sold out. Like it's always the first to go. So I was actually really happy to see that there was so much availability. There was also a decent amount of plus sizes in store. I will say that they definitely have scaled back in comparison to recent years, um, but they do still have like plus sizes in some of their activewear that I saw in some of the suits in the jeans especially like definitely the jeans I saw jeans go from like I think a double zero to a 24 which is pretty great especially for in store so I was really happy to see that and yeah everything that I wanted was in my size and I was just like what fantasy am I living in right now <laughs> 
it was just it's such a privilege to be able to have your size in store and so i like that old navy makes that accessible for a lot more people i think that that's really great as you saw in the fitting room i do think old navy runs a bit big so i'm sort of in between a large and an extra large there and in a lot of those items i should have sized down to a large i will also say that i don't you know old navy isn't necessarily 100 percent my style i feel sometimes like when i put on old navy clothes i'm like a kid trying on their mom's clothes or something like that i don't know they i feel like they look weird on me but that could just be a thing that i have in my head i really love old navy for like basics cardigans tube tops t-shirts halters um things like that i really really love i do also love their jeans i really struck out with the jeans that i chose today but they do have really good jeans and they always have sales i did end up getting two items from what i tried on i got the plain white t-shirt because you can never have too many and i actually really liked the way it fit and then i also got the halter top or like the little crisscross black top that has the shelf bra because any time that I cannot wear a bra and have like a shelf bra is the best day of my life. So yeah, that was my experience going into Old Navy. I would definitely recommend it. Obviously, keep in mind that I'm only speaking for my personal store that I went to in LA, but I really enjoyed it. Like, I feel great. Not everything was exactly 100% like spot on, but I really, really had a good time. So I would strongly recommend checking out Old Navy if you're struggling to find basics and just like cute seasonal things in your size they have a ton of really cute stuff i wasn't able to try on all of it but i would definitely definitely recommend it so i'm gonna link everything that i tried on down in the description box below in case you want to check it out there will be links to all of these pieces or at least all of the pieces that i can find online and if there are any other fitting rooms that you want to see me check out please let me know in the comments below people have been requesting like target h&m all sorts of things um please make sure that that brand carries my size when you request it but yeah i hope you enjoyed this fitting room video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already you can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time i post a new video thank you so much for being here thank you so much for watching leave all of your thoughts in the comments below i'm sending you all of my love and i'll see you very soon in my next video bye